and welcome to What's New at AGBU. Due to the raging pandemic that has overcome the world in the past year, our teachers have had to adapt to a new way of teaching. As part of the Journalism Club, we were curious to see which aspects of remote learning make it so difficult. How do you keep your students engaged in online learning? To maximize student engagement in this remote setting, I have increased the opportunities that students have to participate. I've probably doubled, if not tripled it. The number of chances that students have in my classes to participate is, is countless. So, you know, most of the times asking questions and they have to answer basically, uh, like on the kind of pop quizzes every week or like twice a week, I do pop quizzes, so they have to answer the questions. Uh, also, uh, you know, the Google has the feature, like the breakout rooms, yes. so they can discuss together. Uh, yes, I remember that I Amen, we work on tank pet kegana, and give me my name pet case of Rank, Burkan Narabushat, or the Burkanel Mink. He famous or a dust mink measure or a guy, Karabuchun, but Manavant is version the Kiritom and Porta Consul and Kabel Laps over the Mirmidin. I'm hoping, uh, I'm, I'm hoping the um, you have to ask them, but I'm hoping one of the, the things is um, I try to do a lot of class discussions. A lot of class discussions, a lot of debates and dialogue on whatever it is we're happening to be reading. That way, it's not just me talking, them listening, which can get pretty stagnant in a traditional setting. I can't imagine how boring that would get in a regular setting. So I try to have as much interaction as possible. I teach art. It's a subject that everyone can just get in and do. Everybody can create something. And I think that um, that gives me a bit of an advantage over someone who might be teaching a subject that's a little more dry. Um, our subject is also very hands-on. Everything we do is hands-on. Amen. 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 Uh, <laughs> 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 But as Nerga Zaner got you know. Instead of just having your cut and dry lessons, doing lots of cahoots and quizzes, using videos to supplement learning. Um, with high schoolers, I think having more discussion based lectures than just reading off a PowerPoint, kind of having it open up for debate is, is working really well. <laughs> Kids bust out in screening, Temkisha Jum Nedgening, if I'm what Kigeling, Panel Tuskudank, Vorosh Desaniter, Tuskudank, Vorheda Kragane, Gadagelov, Shatho Selov Irad Head, Zerutselov, Himavor Breakout Room Eragon, Paul Eragon, Kerenk, Gazik Nedgudank, at Piss of Avili Ashuji of Artungaman and Ashagat Nera. We actually just got the program to where we could use breakout rooms and polls. So um, I've been doing this in some of my classes and we'll be implementing it more, uh, such as breakout rooms and having polls. So having that group contact, so breaking down the class, having you guys do group activities with each other and doing polls during class just to ask questions to make sure that everybody understands the topic. Um, that's kind of what I'm doing to keep my students engaged and also to provide real world examples or current um, events or anything like that, just to get them um, a little bit more engaged. 
uh, I call on them. I ask questions uh, to make sure that they understood the material. They understand the material. Um, sometimes I try to crack jokes if I can. I don't know. Uh, I try to be more lenient, but uh, it is not enough, of course. As I said, classroom setting is completely different and more enjoyable. So calling on students constantly, giving them little tasks, you know, little breakout rooms uh, so that they can talk to each other and present something to class. Using online resources like Desmos, for example, in math, works very well because they're act they actually have to do the work and you can see who's doing it and who's not. And so that keeps them engaged because they're actively engaged with the program. I find different ideas. One idea that I think worked great is trying to make it more of a game setting for a learning uh, activity. So what I mean by that is maybe tying in uh, different popular games that the students like into their assignments or into their classwork. Uh, an example would be like Minecraft education version. Uh, another one would be like kind of using uh, the game Assassin's Creed. They've done a fantastic job of of incorporating uh, the ancient, for example, Greek architecture. So Assassin's Creed is created an education version which allows students to kind of tour ancient Greece and really get an idea what it was like uh, architecturally. Nero Portsumenk, Asha Gertneru Shadrutsuna Gravel, Deran Karovelinel, Hagerov, and Herzanutsamp, Nakar Nerov, Kahvas Tevodasa, Numem Dasa Vandom, Yeteda Tarakan the Protsne, Apan Nakarelov, Multfilmerov, Hagerov, Estete Hoska Gunume, Michin Yebarta Dasa Nero, Avili Shud the Numenk, the Rekat Pakan. Video filmering the room as in Kerinaki Masin, Patmutian Masin, Hayastani Masin, Portum and Canal Gum Kazma Kirpel, Aznakan, Katsik Nel, Hait Nel, Hamadzainel, Kamcha Hamadzainel. It's fun. It's fun to use computers to create new things and uh, to be creatively artist, artistic with, with, with different software. Now, the projects had to be tweaked a little bit so that they work better in this environment. Um, I've tried pretty much everything in my toolkit, from jokes to getting the students to decide on things, uh, keeping them engaged in the decision making of when you want the test to be, how much do you want uh, to have on that test, do we split the material, do we compile it, is this project fun, is this project not? Well, first of all, I increase the points for participation. So it's a larger percentage of their grade. Um, and I basically do a lot of question and answering during class. And the rather than quizzing and testing, um, I'm doing a lot of week long work that the students will, as you all know, will submit maybe at the end of the week. I, I, we were trying all different types of things. I mean, making sure that students feel connected to the materials. We've been listening to music together, feeling, checking in with students about where they're at, what they feel like doing, what styles they feel like dancing, um, and and doing material that they're connected to, I think is very important during this time. <laughs> որովհետև որպես կանոն իմ աշակերտների հետ հարաբերությունը իմ շատ լավ է եւ մեր դասերը կարծում եմ անցնում են կատարյալ հաջողության մեջ Uh first thing in the morning is always a challenge because everybody rolls out of bed and turns on their computer what one minute after they wake up and so it's one of those let's go um usually it is um the some of the keys are if we can turn cameras on which we can't always do it depends upon what connectivity is and whether people are having lagging problems um because it's that establishing eye contact and whatnot it's also creating um usually before we start talking about something that's not class related to try and get everybody kind of engaged and relaxing and whatnot well as in um the regular classroom setting you always have to set goals um, online. You have to simplify the material, be creative, 
know your tech, um, create breakout rooms as much as you can, and most importantly, make the students feel valued. Thank you so much for watching. Next week, we will discuss the positive aspects of online learning.